In today's tutorial, let's do the shell collection cowl together. That's coming up next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do the shell collection cowl. This is a really beautiful cowl featuring the brand new yarn called Peyton's Peak Yarn. Now you're seeing po eye pop in color and that is the yarn doing the work just like so. So you can see that it has a regular color of gray and then you have these eye delicious like really good eye candy in the yarn popping out every now and then. So this is what the yarn looks like here. It's more of uh, just a regular size here and then when the colors come in to be it pops right out and creates these beautiful bubble like kind of candy ideas when it comes to these cowls. Now this cowl that you're seeing in front of me is only a reduced sample of the original. There's three balls required and you can see in the sample that it's 22 inches long from the top to the bottom to provide a really luscious cowl. But of course you have your own creativity. If you don't want anything that thick you can obviously just reduce it down just like this. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do the stitch and this is really a lot more easier than it looks. So for today's tutorial you'll need a six millimeter size J crochet hook today. I'm going to be demonstrating using a Bernat Super Value yarn because it's easier to see. The eye popping colors that you see um, tend to sometimes cover up the stitches so I would want you to see exactly where we're going. So we're going to create a slip knot to begin and we need to chain 84 for this example. So here's what I'm going to suggest to, to you. You cannot have this chain twist up. So in order to prevent that from happening what, what you can do is this. Go chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and stop. So you need to chain a total of 84 but stop it here and I want you to put this first chain on to the hook. So just coming up from the back side on and then insert this one back in. And what this will do is that you'll continue to grow this and this will never twist on you because it's going to stay uh, beautiful as you go. So you just have to ignore this. So continue to go. So I'm going to do another 10. So 1, 2, see I'm just ignoring it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Go all the way to 84 for me and then I'll see you back here in just a moment. So just a few seconds ago I left you, you did your 84. So now I have 84 on the hook and so if you follow this around all the way you'll see that it has not twisted. So this is a really good opportunity just to kind of see and just make sure everything is balancing. Once you're confirmed that please just uh, yarn over and pull through that one and the starting and that completes a center ring just like this. Let's move along to round number one. So there's only two essential rounds in this whole thing and the first round is only just because you're working on the chain. So let's first start our first round. We're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. So one, two, three and in the same uh, stitch that you did the join you're going to double crochet once again. Okay we're creating what is called as shells. So you're going to double crochet then chain one and then into the exact same stitch again you're going to double crochet twice. So each shell consists of two double crochets, chain one and two double crochet. So keeping with the back hump only of the stitch, so just turn it over and get the back hump only, it's a lot easier to work with, is that you're going to skip three. So one, two, three. So skip three chains and double crochet into the fourth. Again in the back hump only and double crochet and then double crochet we're doing a shell chain one and in the same stitch. Please just double crochet two more times. That's all you have to do for this whole thing except for the next round is different because we're not working with the chain. So once you get that done one, two, three, go to the fourth and you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain once again. So what I want you to do is that I want you to work all the way around on this chain doing the exact same thing. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet and then skip three and start all over again and do that all the way around and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around. I'm skipping and going to the fourth and so this is the last shell that I'm going to do and I want to make sure I don't twist my chain when I go to finalize off. So just going in. So now I'm just coming all the way around and I'm just doing my last shell in and when I go to skip then I'm skipping the remainder that lead me to the first shell that we started with. So just continuing to do that. So before I do the join and do the slip stitch I want to make sure that this is not twisted up. So what I want to do is see how it's got a bit of a twist. I just want to kind of untwist and making sure that the top is 
in the top. So here's the top, just follow it around. Sometimes you just have to twist things. You only have to ever do this once. There we go. Usually the secret is in this first one right here. Okay, so do you see that? So now it's not twisted at all. So now I can just join this to the, so now I can just join it to the top of the first chain three that I started with. So now I know that there's no twist in this and now I'm ready to continue for round number two. So round number two is the same for all of the rounds and this is how we do it. To start any round we have to do the exact same thing. So we've joined where two shells are coming together. So we have to slip stitch to the next double crochet and then slip stitch to the chain one space. So we have to slip stitch twice. So to start we chain up three which counts as a double crochet and we double crochet another time into that same space, chain one and then double crochet two more times into that same space. So there's your next shell. So that's how you kind of start a shell at the very beginning. Once you have that done you just move to the next shell, go right into the middle of the chain one space and do another shell. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Okay, let's skip to the next shell. Chain one and two double crochet. See, that's all you have to do. So what are you gonna do when you get all the way around? You're going to join it with the slip stitch and then just move up again by slip stitching two more over to the next shell and then beginning all over again. So this is how you would do this uh, particular shell collection cowl. Very simple, very easy and I think what makes that pattern look so complicated is that the yarn is so fabulous and because of that you end up with a really kind of a high end look but in actual fact the stitch work as you see is quite simple. I'm going to just uh, take you all the way around one more time and I'll get you started just to make sure that you do understand that you just have to continue the pattern as you see here. So I'm doing my last shell into the last shell. And what I want to do is then join it to the top of the chain three. Okay, so just reach over, see how you're in between the shells, reach over, join and you're done. So there's a round done. So to start the next round, again just slip stitch over one through the double crochet and then once more to the chain one and then start up again chain three, double crochet again, chain one and double crochet twice and continue the shell all the way around. So what happens here is that you end up with a beautiful cowl like this. So if you really look at this pattern that's all you can see here is the stitches are in a shell working their way in the horizontal and again the yarn uh, with the colors like so just makes it a lot more fun. So till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.